Oh, the pull up, the pull up, the pull up suitcase. Do you guys like this sort of stuff? I'm not sure if you're fans of this. Um, I know I am. I love these little Kickstarter things. Um, I have a little bit. Of, I've had a bad experience. I worked for a Kickstarter that was, you know, complete garbage, and they, you know, they went about. It's it's a kind of a cultural thing. It's not the company's fault. Um, for the most part, Kickstarter is a platform where you know people tend to take the piss out of the customers. If you don't know about Kickstarter, it's a platform where you can essentially crowdsource and raise capital for an invention or product that you want to put out there. They're now kind of going gearing towards outside of kind of physical products. They're going into documentaries, films, whatever they may be called. Um, and it's a place for inventors, product designers to kind of flesh out ideas, get, um, see if they're ready for market, see if there's a demand for it. And over time, you can, you know, raise capital for it and kind of get it into manufacturing. And the whole idea is that you introduce tiers of backing. So it's sort of like Patreon where people can invest $5 into an item and maybe get um, alerted when they first become available in the first run is, and then maybe it's $10 is allowed you to get a t-shirt and it goes up in tiers until you can kind of go, go to the top level, which essentially guarantees you the actual item itself. Um, this is a luggage I've seen featured, I think I might have seen on Hypebeast or somewhere else. Um, it's the first suitcase that turns into a mob mobile closet. I think it's called the pull-up or something similar to that kind of malarkey. It's here on the screen. We'll play the video in a minute, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, at the moment, the goal rate is quite close, right? I think it's like um, it's twelve thousand dollars is the goal, and at the moment they've raised six thousand, so they're just just over halfway. Um, the first suitcase that turns into a mobile closet, the all-in-one suitcase to avoid uh, chaos, sophisticated, tidy, and aesthetic, designed in, and engineered in Germany. Um, the tiers are here, right? What they got here? Yeah, so they got tiers. So they got um, fifteen dollar pledge, a jigsaw puzzle pull-up comics, fifteen piece jigsaw puzzle thank you for your support awesome you pledge four 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 hundred and thirty euros and you get a super early bird pull up in black and 50 percent of retail value which is eight hundred dollars wow eight hundred dollars for a suitcase that is insane pledge 430 or more and you get super early super early bird in red you get in blue and it goes up already in ratings but let's watch the video because you can hear what this whole thing is about i quite like it again maybe these things are people are a bit over kickstart things but they still get me man i still like you remember that um that cooler that played um songs and shit that epic fucking company that ended up failing it was an amazing little cooler that you could take to the park with you with your friends it had like a bluetooth speaker on it it had um a charging dock for your phone you could call your drinks in it had really chunky wheels it looked incredible but they couldn't really get it to market and it kind of failed maybe it did get to market it just didn't sell that well but it was a really incredible uh, um, invention that kind of nearly really didn't really work out you know I, I know for some people kickstarter has the impression of like you know those late night um televised and um what do you call what are they called like sort of like and it kind of start like qvc where they sell the invention that no one really ever thinks they want but it's late at night you're high or you're drunk or you're tired and you think you know you got some money in your bank account like, oh, fuck it, let me buy this hoover that turns into a fucking uh a bicycle or some shit you know it doesn't really things that no one really wants but i think this things might be really really practical for people out there that travel a lot especially the comedians and djs out there who travel quite often let's play a video and see what you guys think of it uh, uh put it here there we go that sound a little bit there. Hi, my name is George Nibuda. I'm the inventor and founder of the Pull Up. He's German as fuck, isn't it? As a businessman, wow, looks good though. It's a bit bigger than a cabin. Two things annoy me more than anything else while traveling. Wardrobes. That's the best point, right? That's the one. That's that's one of the things that still gets me hard to this day about product design and about um, inventions and about, um, you know, just technology in general and about innovation. That's what really gets my dick hard. When somebody's out there, right, they have a they have a point, um, they have a pain point. They have something in their life that really gets them annoyed, that really fucking aggravates them. And instead of moaning about it, instead of bitching, complaining on social media, like people do with Twitter, ah, oh, it's not free speech, free speech, you're not letting me turn my thing out. They're shutting down conservative voices on YouTube and stuff. Instead of moaning, complaining, they actually sit down, they think, they put their money where their mouth is and they make an alternative, right? It might not work. It might not be something that's feasible. People might not want it or whatever it may be. But instead of using all that energy to just complain online, they actually invent and make something. They actually do. And that's something that I can always appreciate, something that always makes me happy. Because all of our greatest inventions, whether it's Uber, whether it's um, delivery services, whether it's restaurants of particular ilk or particular sort of like culinary delights, whether it's like, I don't know, a clip, or if it's a laptop stand, there was somebody out there. I was like, you know what? I'm getting annoyed of having to always put my laptop on top of books to write on. Why don't I make this little laptop rig, uh, sell it on Amazon for 50 pounds and it can sell itself without me even looking. That's what I like to see. More solutions, less complaining. 
It's more hotel rooms are usually not very practical, and there never seems to be enough room for my clothes. Or living out of the suitcase yeah, and true. always up being totally chaotic. Uh -huh. The pull-up suitcase is the solution to all of the issues and problems wow. that have annoyed me for many years. I'm extremely mobile, flexible. Wow, that is so cool. So essentially, if you're listening to the podcast app, instead of a normal suitcase, this is a suitcase that um, opens... Uh, like a book this suitcase pulls up hence the name pull up suitcase and as you pull it up um it's got like a, a foldable like a, a collapsible uh shelving unit so shelves that go up and essentially each shelf has got its little pouch that you can put your t-shirts or your shirts or your suits inside and you can fold them and then slot them into the actual shelf so essentially you're getting more in you'll get you're getting more in because you're folding everything and you put into a shelf and it can compress back into a suitcase so then what happens is that when you go on holiday or you go away on a business trip and you're in your hotel room, you can essentially just pull it all up and just have that as your wardrobe. You don't need to put anything in wardrobes or, you know, take it out of the bags and put it into the wardrobe shelves of the actual hotel room, which I never like doing anyway. I know some of my more organized friends do that all the time, take out all their stuff with their luggage and put the shoes on the floor, put all the t-shirts and the thing. But I, I, just like to, I just like to use my suitcase as the kind of overall kind of, you know, what's it called? Um what do you call it? what do you call it like shelving unit whatever you call it, right but sometimes over time when once you're in a holiday a lot of times and you have stuff that you want already you end up kind of piling all the clothes on top so this is a really good way to kind of get everything organized and then if you need to put all your dirty clothes in a plastic bag you can do because you know where all your clean clothes are really clever invention of my free time instead of wasting time wow that is amazing all the shelves collapse and put in collapse into it let's be honest on business trips, you often arrive tired and exhausted at your hotel. Yeah, that is I know I do. That is situation that pull-up suitcase will make your life easier. Wow. pull-up is multifunctional, effective and easy handling. The only, the only thing that I'll say is bad about it is that it's not... Again, maybe because of the size, maybe because of how um, the uh, the innovation needed and how to kind of pull it up, they probably couldn't fit it into a smaller form. It's not enough for... You can't put it in an overhand luggage. It's not a carry-on. It's something that you're going to have to uh, check in. That's the only issue I have with it. So you're going to have to check it in. So, you know, I'd imagine if you're a businessman and you're a high-flying executive or you're moving around the, the, the country or Europe or the world, you don't really want to waste time waiting for your luggage on a carousel all the time or checking it in ahead of time. You, want, you kind of want to be able to put in overhand luggage, sit down, put your headphones in, go to sleep, get up again, take it out, and, you know what I mean, keep it moving. Um, I'm, again, I'm, I would love to know how much time people actually waste compared to taking stuff out of the overhead luggage. I'm, not, I'm sure it might equate to the same thing. I don't know. People are always really quick to kind of run out of the plane and rush, especially on Ryanair flights. They're like always kind of rushing and scrambling. It's like, we were going to get out at the same time, really. They don't really get out any ahead of you as much as you think they do. You can never really kind of book, you can never kind of book a train ticket at a particular time when you're landing in a city, right? Because no, you're never sure you're going to land exactly the time it says you're going to land, right? You might be um, taxied on the, on the runway for a while because there's no space uh, for you guys to get out and shit. You might have to... St the plane might um, end up landing on the other side of the airport, especially if it's a budget airline. They land in, you know, really obscure parts of the airport. They're having to take a bus back into the main bit of it. So there's no way of really kind of knowing how when you're going to land exactly you know the maybe rough time frame but not exactly so they wonder how much time you actually save but yeah it looks like a cool invention man confident that this one of a kind suitcase will also help straighten out your travel cards and make every hotel room and german engineering too wow i like it I like, that's a good that's a good byline right make every hotel room feel like home which is you know the, the complete opposite of a hotel room because if any if there's anywhere in the world that doesn't feel like home it's sleeping on your friend's house right you always feel like you're not at home regardless if they make you feel comfortable regardless if they let you use your bed or regardless if they let you shit in their toilet you never feel at home in your friend's house because it's not your house and the second place you don't feel at home is a hotel room it's the most sterile fucking devoid of personality place you'd ever find in your life um the only place where i've kind of felt good and glitzy in a hotel room is when i've stayed in a kind of really posh hotel whether it's a kind of ace, ace hotel whether it's that hotel in la where i went in someone's room i went in someone's room when i was there um i think it's called the line or something it's in la everyone goes there i think when they go to coachella so it's the line or some of those i don't forgot what the name of it but those are the only place that you actually feel nice so you actually feel kind of at home kind of but not really maybe chateau mama that looks quite homely right it's a bit run down it looks like an old lady's home loads of celebrities go there and shit that might be another place where you feel at home but yeah this looks really cool i'll put a link in the show notes for you to check out uh the pull-up suitcase german engineered absolute brilliance really cool idea i love i love i love i love